evening, good afternoon. Hi guys, this is Joyce, Joyce All-Knowing Tarot. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. It is Marvelous Monday and I'm back again. I was going to go live, but then there's a lot of people that are um, doing, uh, you know, a prayerful day today, a meditative day, different uh um, tarot readers, different psychics, and I dropped in at Allie Martin's for a little bit, and um, you, she's at Heart and Soul Connected, and there's several others, so if you want to go around and check them out, or just pop in and, you know, say hello to someone in the chat, I think it is a wonderful effort that we put some positivity together to make a change in this world. It's got to start with us. It has to start, um, and that's something I was talking about um, when I was on the mic, is that it's got to start within. You've got to find that peace in yourself first. You've got to find that rather than always making it, you know, that it's them or it's out there, it's out there. It's got to start with you. And from there, things grow better exponentially, actually. You just have to believe it and want it. I just came by to do a reading on a couple of things and um, just kind of say hello to you. It is a little bit later. It's five here in the Eastern segment but sometimes i like to come on later because i have people in other places that watch me we had class the first night it was fantastic it was a lot of people i've had before and it was like old home week so that was a lot of fun um first thing i'm going to look at is gavin newsom uh you know gavin newsom is um running for uh his really being governor again it's a recall and so they were trying to find someone to replace him i know um uh, Caitlyn Jenner was trying to say she was going to run and now we've got this Larry Elder but I do think that he's going to be fine I was just sitting here by myself and threw some cards and this is the uh, Voyager Tarot so the first thing I have for him is the man of crystals and these are unique cards this is all about the pictures of it all and the man of crystals is really like the um, king of swords he's very educated he's very well spoken um, he's a very sharp individual, sharp thinker, uh, fair-minded, listens to all sides, makes decisions. This speaks to his being in a legal world, a legal position. Um, so that's him right there. And there was a lot of confusion around him, you know, so, and especially as it came to mask mandates and things like that, but people were really angry about, and that makes no sense to me because he wants to protect your health that's a problem but that's what i'm saying there was a lot of confusion about him but then the next card i get for him is the ace of worlds and that's like the ace of pentacles it says not to worry he's going to get the job he's going to have stability back in his life that's a very successful card he will have long-term stability he'll be able to finish his um term out and go forward on whatever direction that he wants to go they're not going to be able to undo him or seat him with somebody else for what and some people can say this about him or womanizer or this and that but he got the job done he's getting the job done for california i'm not in california i don't know him personally but i'm seeing nothing but good for him and then he's got the sage of wands and so sages are like messengers and healers and yeah that's what he's going to do he's going to heal from all of this and he's going to continue on as if this didn't happen he's going to look out for all people he's going to be even more fired up than what he was before because wands speak of fire they speak of enterprise and passion and that's what he's going to be um he's kind of a cool type cookie and i could see that as him being the king of swords individual he's not overly emotional or things like that but this trying to recall him you know how when you try to do someone wrong or whatever something happens to you wrong and you you determine i'm going to come back better than ever and that's what he's going to do so yeah he's going to come back and he's going to be on top of his game. So there's no worry there with him at all. So um, and if anybody wants to know about Gavin Newsom. Uh, I'm taking out another deck of cards. I just thought I'd use the um, Voyager for that. Um, the next one I want to look at is uh, GOP Representative McCall. McCall wants to know, did um, Putin threaten Biden? <laughs> You know, it's funny how the GOP cannot get on with their job. 
they're still stuck in all this backlash, Trump backlash. You know, like the Democrats came for us, so I'm coming with them. Can we grow up? Can we grow up here and be adults and get on to the business of lawmaking is what you're supposed to be doing. But we're going to take a look. Did Putin threaten Biden? He sure doesn't make moves as if uh, Putin threatened him. But Putin threatened your boy for sure. He threatened 45. Yeah, that's why he, uh, 45, talked to those uh, Taliban, allegedly, and not the Afghanistan leaders in order to get uh, Afghanistan back the way Biden, China, perhaps, wanted it. So, let me take a quick look. No, uh, uh as a matter of fact, Putin feels out in the cold. We have um, five of cups around for him. And that's him feeling out in the cold. Him not getting what he is really wanting. We also got the three of swords. That's like he had this arrangement. It's like three individuals, right? So let's say, for example, let's pretend that allegedly Putin and Trump had some business dealings, right? And then uh, Trump was supposed to win the election, right? And instead, Biden comes in between those two and it ruins the plans that were set in motion. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that there were plans, not with Biden. He had no reason to threaten or anything with Biden, period. Um, so there's nothing there. It's a complete nothing burger. That's what Linda would say, a nothing burger. There's nothing there. And there's only regret that um, Putin has regarding not having Trump in office because that was his puppet. Yeah. And um, they're going to carry on doing what they, what they do or trying to bully. Trying to do a lot of talking and gossiping and spreading propaganda because... Um, they do that quite well over there. They spread propaganda. And instead of McCall being, GOP McCall being worried about did um, Putin uh, threaten Biden, he ought to be worried about them threatening him because he should never have stand up and said anything like that to anybody because it's utterly ridiculous. It it's, has no merit. It sounds and looks as if he threatened you, that you better say this and you better do that because I do remember a lot of you went over there uh, at a time when Trump was in office, were you there? Did he threaten you? Did he tell you what he's going to do? Does he have pictures of you? That's the question right there. So, no, there's absolutely no merit to that story at all. I want to take a quick look, too, at Larry Elder. Now, you probably wonder who is Larry Elder, and you probably already know. I think he's been in media and whatnot for a while. So, he was going to be the person. He wants to replace... Uh, Gavin Newsom. He is walking and talking. I didn't even know he was this crazy, child. To tell you the truth, I did not know this man was this crazy. <clears throat> this black man said that um, George Zimmerman, who shot Trayvon Martin, if you remember Trayvon Martin, the little boy going home with the um, the Skittles and the, um, the Arizona iced tea during the basketball games, that he says that Zimmern, Zimmerman was in the right to do that. Yes, he did. He actually said that. He said because there's so many of these um, black kids, it's, alle it's alleged, alleged, alleged. But he said there's so many thugs and they're so dangerous and yada, yada. But this kid was by himself and he was going to the corner store for something for himself and something for his little brother. When he wasn't supposed to, his parents told him to stay at home while they were gone, his um, father and stepmother. But he went anyways. And so I want to see what is around Larry Elder. The amount of self-hate is just ridiculous. Uh, we're supposed to love ourselves, period. But if you find your, yourself, you're hating on 
someone who is deceased and you're praising the wrong person something is wrong with you and you think we want to be under you i mean not me i'm not there but california i don't think so let's see what's around very elder what's his what's his end game why is he saying things like this he's as bad as uh what's her name candace owens okay so first off first and foremost i have the emperor in reverse so this guy is a whole misogynistic individual he is demanding he is he will de be degrading to you he will belittle you he is uh you know i want it but the way i want it right now extremely negative extremely insecure that's what he is he comes across to me very insecure he's passionate up and fired up about the wrong things he goes after the wrong people um you cannot tell him what to do i don't think a good leader should be stubborn they should be open to hear both sides not him he feels that he's right and he'll say whatever he wants to say uh period he's got three he's got three of swords too he's going to be very disappointed that he is not going to win that california and he needs to fade on to the background where these hateful people need to be he's very uh hateful i feel sorry for him whatever happened to him um we didn't do it you know and so he's very hate, hate hateful and he wants to win at all costs and he feels he has a right to but he doesn't he'll just be the talk of the town i have the queen of swords in reverse that's when we gossip about somebody that's when we see him making judgment on this people and that people and this is a whole black man saying that trayvon martin deserved to be you know come on now no so there's no good coming to him i see nothing good coming to him but just more more troubles for him he's a sad individual and i'm telling you i don't feel sorry for him but these are not the things we say about someone who's passed, especially a child. Are you kidding me? And you find the person that did it, that stepped so out of line, who put the police told, go back into his car, told him he not to play police that night, still went out there and did what he did anyways. No, he needs to go. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just see the justice card for Larry Elder. And the justice card is a very interesting uh, card because a lot of people think that it means, you know, justice and you're going to court. And in this case, that is not the case. Justice for him simply means that um, there's cause and effect in life. And that is what life is, a series of choices. And you get this effect, this outcome, and then you wonder why this happened to me. It's because of something that you said or did. And so he needs to learn about that. That is like one of the official karma cards. And a lot of readers don't even know that. There's an official karma card in the deck saying that he needs to watch what he says and does because this will be the undoing of him. His mouth will be. And he's got the seven of swords. Seven of Swords says he's a very dishonest individual, a type of individual that will say what he has to say to get what he wants. You know, like a, a liar. <laughs> Can we say that? Manipulator. Yeah, that's him up and down, round and round. And my cards never lie. Let me tell you that right now. Um, so he's got karma coming on him from the acts that he's doing. He needs to be very careful. This is a universal cause and effect on the universal level he needs to fix this i don't think that he will and then i get the chariot in reverse for him that says that he's not going anywhere no good is going to come to him you know no good is going to come to him. reminds me of the color purple when uh Celie was getting away from mister and she was like no good is coming to you yeah that's him no good is coming to him um let me take a quick look too at josh holly so there's a former i think he's a former fbi special agent who says that you need to we u.s united states the government they need to be looking and pointing the finger at josh howley and it's funny because we've been doing these live readings with you guys i've been having guests and i've been looking at the chat and people are saying what about just josh howley um let's see about josh howley but this agent says that we need to be looking at josh howley and I definitely agree with that. So let's take a look. Okay. 
I was too lazy to cook. I made Chinese food. Chinese food. It was good. But it's Chinese food. You know, you eat it and a couple of hours later, you're like you haven't eaten a thing. Josh Howley. Okay, so the first thing I have for him is the three of materials. That's like the three of coins. He's working, okay? He's working. <laughs> you know how when you do something and they, and uh, we used to do this when we were kids, right? We would do something. We stole a cookie or we broke a lamp or something like that. And then when mom or dad would get home, we'd get busy, you know, doing whatever in our rooms or whatever the case may be, right? So they would know that we had did this so they could mysteriously come up upon it themselves that's what he's doing he's working he's working right now he's acting as if he's super busy with stuff he's got the two of pinnacles also in reverse uh two of pinnacles reverse it says he's working but he's not doing a good job excuse me he's working but he's not going to doing a good job he's trying to hold on to uh you know his secret what he's done what has been done he wants to be invisible but he's not doing a very good job at it and he's got a surprise coming for him a page of cups is there's news a surprise popping out on him that he is going to be found out for sure yes he is he is the government says government is going to come to him he's got the hierophant and he's got the uh page of inspirations page of wands that is the page of wands is like a wand right and it makes things happen higher fan represents institutions traditional traditions government it says government is coming for you josh howley you will not be able to hide government is coming for him so he has been busy busy busying himself like a little beaver so they would not notice him all the while they see he's not doing a good job what's going on page of cups says he gets summoned okay someone is going to summon him and government is not happy he's also got the nine of swords nine of swords yeah he is worried he's barely getting any sleep because so far you notice his name has not been called but i remember on that very day i was watching the capitol this is before the actual insurrection he stood there and had his fist up and everything to the people that were in the crowds like go get them charge you know all that kind of stuff like it was a sports situation and that is what he was doing and i saw him do it and now all of a sudden he's quiet he's leaving it to margie and lauren and kevin and all of that but he's not in it you don't hear him anywhere matt gates all of that yeah but he is so afraid that it's what is going to happen for him is being found out. And he's also having to look into himself. He's got the seven of pentacles. He's looking at himself. He's looking at how he can get away. How can I get away from this? How can I, what can I do? What can I do? What should I have done? What more can I do to not get caught? But it's not going to work out for him at all. It's not going to work out for him. People are going to come together. They're going to be pointing at him. And by this article, this particular article was in the newspaper. That tells you, yeah, they're looking. They're watching his every move. Even though he thinks he's trying to be slick or get away with something, it's not going to work. At Seven of Swords tells me he's a liar. He's trying to get away with what he did or his part in it. Um, I just want to see... I just want to see was he part of it and i got the king of cups in reverse it says that wow he is deep in his emotions he is depressed okay he's depressed he is afraid he's nervous he does not want harm to come to him even though he didn't mind harm coming coming to everybody else on one six he feels like he should walk away he feels like he should quit um be in his position he definitely feels like that um i don't know if he will but inside of himself, it says, I feel like I should quit. That's all he's thinking about. He's got 
this is the eight of cups walking away knowing that you know what i did is going to come back to haunt me but not wanting to face it and then this is seven of pentacles right there this is him reflecting like this is what i did this is coming my way and it's got him absolutely crazy depressed and everything else what's the energy underneath the deck yeah he's got the star card at the bottom of the deck so he is hoping beyond hope that something will change or he'll get ignored or people will see his work and they won't say his name uh involve it in any kind of way but unfortunately that's not going to really work for him i think initially his plan was to stay quiet and stay part of this underground movement but now it's going to be revealed it's going to unfold like an onion for him and there's really no getting away from it and not to mention the fact he's so worried he's focusing on this so much that whatever you tend to focus on is what manifests in your life and so if he's focusing on this fear or his part in the insurrection that will come out so and it promises to do anyways anyways guys i know this is a little bit later but i still wanted to come by and see you um what do i have coming up i've got thursday i've got a live i'm gonna go live thursday and saturday and i think friday as well so thursday friday and saturday but anyways guys have a great rest of your day enjoy your dinner or your evening nap or whatever you do and have a great day bye now